know what? I'm just gonna talk normally. Oh my god, you're so crooked. Hang on. I'm just gonna talk normally, and hopefully, if anybody comes out, they think I'm on the phone and not talking to myself. But today is my 31st birthday. I can't. If that feels so weird to say. It feels so adult. <laughs> Like, whenever you're 30, sorry, whenever you're 30, you can, like, still kind of pretend that you're in your 20s. But no, I'm, like, fully in my 30s now. And so one thing that I do, one of my birthday traditions, is to journal. So I just read over what I journaled on my 30th birthday. I think it was actually technically a couple weeks after my 30th birthday because on my 30th birthday last year I was actually in Ireland at my grandparents for my cousin's wedding and we had a big birthday party which was so lovely I don't think I, I don't think both sides like my mom's side's cousins and my dad's side's cousins had ever been in the same room at least not with me there before and that was the first time I'd had my birthday there since I was five so that was really fun I mean my sister wasn't there nor was my brother because they didn't come over for the wedding but I just had a bug fly right into you. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, and I don't think I took this journal with me, or if I did, I didn't actually get time to journal while I was traveling. Um, okay, we're gonna have to hold this. This is the worst part of sitting out here, but I just read over it and it's so, I really enjoy this tradition. It's so nostalgic, but, um, the goals that I made, so that's the other thing I do is I write a list of goals, is to get out of the town that I currently live in. I have not done that. I have really tried. And same with get a new job, like I have really tried. And I really thought I would have done this by now. I had so many job interviews earlier on this year and I don't know, that's such as life. Work towards not carrying credit card debt. I swear, every time I get close, something happens. So I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be my primary focus, I think, after my hip surgery is paying off my credit card debt. Take care of your health. Yes, this has been a huge one this past year. Between my migraines getting so bad starting in October and then the hip stuff, this has been massive. And like, it, it's kind of full circle that in about two and a half weeks I'm going to be having my hip surgery and that's where we're so yeah that does feel a bit mental but we're getting stuff taken care of and again like I was saying to my granny this morning it does feel like it's worked out for the best that I haven't moved away because like if I'd gotten one of those jobs in another country I would not have access to health care yet and um like if I would move further down in Ontario to where I wasn't having to go to Manitoba for the surgery, the wait lists in Ontario are much worse than they are in Manitoba. So <laughs> it's so funny that I wrote in the take care of your health category, the last one that I wrote is don't hit your head. <laughs> oh, that just shows how much I was really going through it. Um, yeah. Stop spending your entire weekend doing chores. I actually think the Thursday night resets, which if you go over to my TikTok, you'll find them there, have been really helpful for that. Give the cash envelope budgeting a try. I gave it a try. I need to give it another go after, I think probably in September, I need to pick that back up again. Yeah. Save up $5,000. I'm actually, I'm getting close. I would have liked to have done this before my birthday, but I've proven to myself that I actually can save again. And live by the question, in one year will I be proud of this choice? I think I've done that. It's kind of a, I wonder where that mantra came from. I don't think I remembered it. So now I'm going to do my, I need to drink more of this. This might be too distracting with the lines in the way, but I've kind of got you like propped in the chair. Um, oh my God, the wind. How could you do this to me? <laughs> 
Okay, so sadly we've had to come inside and uh, my apartment's a disaster, which is part of why I was filming outside. But the wind was not dying down and the audio was going to be miserable. Um, so, and I'm running out of time because my friends are coming to pick me up for my birthday dinner at five. So yeah, so the goals that I set are get hip surgery and give yourself time to recover from it. So I've really been going back and forth about whether or not I should apply for short-term disability. My The human resources department where I work is really encouraging it. And I think I'm going to. Just in case, I do have enough sick days to like meet the minimum recovery requirements set by my doctor. But just in case something happens, I don't feel ready, I'm still really sore, and also it would use up all of my sick days, so then I wouldn't, like if I get migraines, I wouldn't have any sick days left. So I do think it's wise to take the short-term disability. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just, I'm really going to give myself time, do my physio, go to my physio classes, or classes, sessions, do the exercises, go to the appointments, try to avoid driving, like just do all the things and like really, if I want this to work and I want to like it to be successful, I need to do the work of it. Number two is a carryover from I think the past three years of these. Um, get a new job. I... I'm done with living this far north. I want to be not necessarily closer to family, but more accessible to family. So like I want to live next to an airport that can get me home and like that kind of stuff. I would also love to live somewhere where I don't have to own a car. Oh my God, that would be a dream. Related, get out of the town where I currently live. I'm just, it's too small. It's too far away from things. I'm done. I'm not going to go into specifics about this because I don't want this to become something that I really share on here because I have in the past, well, I don't even know about in the past, I have had a lot of issues with food, body image, over-exercising, under-eating. I know I don't look like it, <laughs> but um, I think I've gotten to a point where my head... Although I have been having, and I think this is summer, I think it's like the algorithm, the ozempic of it all. I have been having a lot of really bad body image days lately, but I would like to lose some weight. And I'm not going to get into specifics. I'm probably never going to mention it again. But yeah, part of that is just about binge eating. I just want to stop with that. And I also want to use physio as like a gateway into more regular exercise. And then my last one is stick to financial goals. So similar to the binge eating, I want to figure out like the root causes of the overspending. Stop that. Save up a thousand dollar mini emergency fund. Pay off my credit cards. Save up a five thousand dollar moving fund, which is in progress. Start contributing to a personal registered retirement savings plan. So like in America, you have your 401ks and Roth IRAs and IRAs and stuff like that. In Canada, we have registered retirement savings plans, retirement savings plans, etc. stuff like that. Um, I do have an RSP through work, but I would like to have my own personal RRSP. It would also reduce my taxable income, which would be a good thing. And just in general, stop carrying your credit card balance. And then my last one is to be more social. I, I think especially in the winter, I tend to isolate myself because I get sad. <laughs> but then I'm sad because I'm lonely and it's a vicious cycle. So I need to jump. I might come and check in tomorrow, but who knows? We'll see. Um, I was really hoping to get to the beach today, but I'm running out of time. So with that, I am going to go finish getting ready for my birthday dinner. I haven't decided if I'm wearing this yet or not, but it's last year from Target, whenever I was in the States. I think I got it when I went down for Taylor Swift. Um, 
I really like it. I love this. This is one of my favorite colors to wear. Sorry, I don't know how to get it. But we're just going to go. There's only like one restaurant in town. So we're just going to go there and hang out. I don't think it's a very big group because it's a summer weekend. Like nobody's here. So that's that. Um...